Welcome everybody to another episode of Anderson's TV, a slightly festive edition. Well, I'm wearing a Christmas jumper. Yeah, as of and I am not. I'm wearing uh, Christmas underwear <laughs> underneath, but I, I was told not to uh, reveal it. A um, couple of guitars to show you here. Pretty quick video, this one, he says. Yeah, um, it's always a quick Epiphone video. Epiphone Schwingster. <laughs> Schwingster. Swing. Swing. Swingster. Uh. Swingster. Um, it's a difficult thing to say. It is a little bit. Uh, it's a bit Twain's world, isn't it? Swingster says what? Bobby, can I ask you a question? Where's it, Garth? <clears throat> a sphincter says what? <laughs> I said, a sphincter says what? <laughs> you want me to say what? Like, I don't get it. Is that it? Tony. Oh dear, last guy didn't get. Okay, yeah, last right. guy didn't get. You big, you big. We small, small, so we better go. Yeah. Where are you going? England! Um, <laughs> so anyway, the uh, the Swingster has been in the Epiphone catalog for about 10 years, but it, but it kind of harks back to guitars that Epiphone made back in their sort of heyday of jazz guitars. Yeah. Um, this is a totally hollow, uh, so unlike Hello. a lot of guitars. Hello? <laughs> Hello. Adele. Hello. It's me. Um, <laughs> so wondering. whereas a lot of these guitars with the two humbuckers on them would be center block guitars, this is totally hollow uh, and the pickups are mounted onto these sort of two vertical struts that go uh, through the, the, the middle of the body. Um, is that CC struts? <laughs> yes. It's got a sort of a, 
Mm. I think it's probably got a bit more of a Gretschy vibe to it. It's almost Absolutely. like, you know, in the last 10 years, you've seen Gretsch do more center block models, which go after the sort of more Gibson-y traditional thing. And you've now got, because you've got Epiphone doing more hollow body guitars going after perhaps a more Gretschy thing. Yes. Um, 24 and three quarter inch scale length, big body, you know, pretty, you know, pretty deep, pretty big. It's like a contra gen, isn't it? It's like it's that kind of size. It's a, it's a, it's a yeah. deeper, I think, than a country is gen, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, maybe so. A so. little bit of an arch top to it, like the sixty-two, um, whatever we've got up there. That's very similar to that. Yeah, you're that's right. slightly slightly narrow because it's a pro version, but it's very Gretschy. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Go on, I'm um, interrupting your space. Bigsby uh, Bigsby trem system with a, a, a faulty tremolo arm on it here. That's I don't know what happened in transit here, but it's got a massive, great big bend. It's in smiling, it. isn't it? It's um, like, a, it's like, it's a like the Amazon. It's an Amazon um, trem. <laughs> system isn't it <laughs> and uh and two swingster swingster uh humbuckers which i think again i don't think tonally sound terribly gretchy but sort of visually are going for that sort of you know uh, broadtron kind of vibe yeah um sparkly colors sparkly colors sparkly binding i mean this one is my favorite the uh the forest Delta, gump forest green gump forest gump green and <laughs> with the gold hardware, it looks with the great gold right hardware now. and the gold binding, and you know, just a little detail yeah. like that there. And um, I've got the Delta Goodrum Blues, um, which again is in this sort of blue metallic with a silvery sort of sparkle um, binding. And then I believe there's an aged black uh, model also going to be part of this range. So we haven't seen that yet. So I don't know if the aging is some sort of VOS style finish like they've done on the 59 Les Paul from uh, probably, 2020. It would, it would or and the acoustic, right? Yeah. Uh? The acoustic guitars yes. has got the same kind of yes. feel to them, isn't it? Got the uh, floating bridge here. So just, you know, sat on a, a sort of a wooden um, sort of base here. Sitting on the, the dock. <laughs> sitting on the dock of the wooden bay. <laughs> so many. Um, it's just gone Dad, wrong, isn't it? Dad you can tell it's our last day of filming before we get to go home for Christmas. Um, Do you get to go home? No, I say that. I say we. <laughs> what I mean is Pete and Tay. I shall be here till the bitter end. Um, Grover tuners. Mm. It's a nice guitar. So let's get some. It's, oh, and some. Yeah, it's got some parallel. Parallel, parallel Help sort me. of. Uh, Home for Christmas. Driving on for Christmas. <laughs> da, 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 Built in percussion. Da, da, Come on, Pete. Take da, us through da, the tones. Da, 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 da. Take us through some tones. Yeah. So, yeah. Standard sort of uh, three way selector switch with a volume for each pickup and a tone for each pickup. And the oh. tone also is your Morse code for help me. Uh, <laughs> Bring on 2021. My, I can't yeah, handle it anymore. Yeah. My, my sphincters turn green. <laughs> <laughs> Too many Brussels sprouts at this yeah. Christmas. Oh my God! Come on, There's we can so many... do it. I'm we gonna, can I'm, do it. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna do some swinging now. Uh, yeah, Dad, you know what? Do it in the style of the name of the guitar. Play some fifties swing. I, I, I'm not that kind of guy. All Was of this 50s, kind of thirties, forties, fifties. That era. But it's not... I don't know. It's not. I, I'm not really into that kind of yeah, thing. But, but it's, it's like I love it. You know. I'm not really into it. But I'll just play it much better than but you that's can. Not, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's a swing thing. But it's pretty swingy. Uh, it's pretty swingy. Uh, but I don't know if it's a 30s kind of guitar. Maybe not this, 30s. It? It's like a no, 50s, isn't it? I, it's kind 50s? of. I see like you know, New York in the 50s. The swinging 50s. Maybe the 40s as well. All the big band stuff. Swinging what 60s. Was his, what, was, what was the dude's? <laughs> what was the dude's name? The Glenn Miller. That kind of big. Oh band yeah. Swing. There was more like a one. Maybe, thing. but I kind of see it as harking back anyway, to that vibe. We digress, man. We did. We do. So uh, here's an E chord. Don't know why I played that. That's not that of that era. No, I just that's heard a bagpipe. Oh, bagpipe! Old Lang Syne. Yeah, that was what that's it was. Great. It might be New Year's Eve for you. You might be sitting at home, Could not be. knowing. You can't go anywhere because you're yeah. in tier three.
don't know what that was. That was so, so good. <laughs> I mean, I know we haven't even moved on from the first pickup. We're still on the first pickup. But you hear, it's such a different <laughs> sound when you've got a guitar that's completely hollow to one with a center block. It's, it's a just, bucket it's got a lot more bucket. It is more <laughs> hollow. And again, it's just, it's one of these things where, you know, I kind of hark back to that kind of ongoing ridiculous argument on the internet of does wood make a difference to the tone because all you can hear are pickups and strings. And you sit there going, well, here we're now hearing like lack of wood. So, you know, we're hearing two humbucking pickups, but mounted effectively just onto like the top of an acoustic guitar, yep. really, and yep. a completely hollow guitar. It is. But hey. But hey. I'm just saying. So it, just everything saying. does make a difference. It kind of has to. Um, Let's, let me pull the uh, Morse do it. code switch do it. here. So here it is in. So I think it does this series parallel thing. Hey, well, is that out? Sorry, or in? out, out. Now it's out. That sounds more That's humble. In. Now, can I just stop? So the website describes mm. this switch as doing series parallel rather mm. than. Uh, a split so I'm guessing what it's doing is it's taking the two coils in the humbucker yeah. and switching between whether you're hearing them in series or parallel so it's not necessarily uh, a Strat sound and then a Les Paul sound or you know or saying it's just two variants of a humbucking sound um, let me demonstrate are they both humbucking let me demonstrate neck pick up in out more hum with it out yeah which I don't know. It would be like um, more like a single coil then. Or, or, or is it? Or is it just one of them hums and one of them? Man. I tell you what we need to do. We need to find like a link to something on Wikipedia that explains what these do. But anyway, it's, it's, it's nice. It's nice. It's got heavier strings I'll, I'll give it. This is our get out of jail card free. We're actually doing this demo before these guitars have been officially released. So there's no actual online resource for us to go and check with. Norm We've thing. got a very basic spec sheet here. Yeah. That's why. But hey, hey, middle position. All you need to do is pickups. hear it, right? Yeah. And so, see it. Middle position. Wow, that's very, very quacky. <laughs> what happens if I pull one of them? Unusual that the guitar sound would get fatter with the knobs pulled out. Yes, yes uh, it's definitely but unusual I prefer, that. I prefer the lower knob out uh, in the middle position for me. It hurts fingers a bit to pull these. Yeah, pu pulling knobs. In pulling and out knobs hurts so fingers all day. Can, uh, hurt your fingers. You get like you just need the callus. What's yeah. it called? Callus is. What are they called, Ian? Ca ca no, it's, no. It when, it, when you get uh, calluses on your fingers, is it a callus? It's a tip. I know. It's, I know what it is, but I, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether it's, it's actually called a callus. Ca it's plural of callus. Calluses. That's when you got cali. Sure cali. That's why the anyway. ferry goes to France. <laughs> <laughs> Over to Cali. <laughs> I'm going to oh Cali. Oh God. Okay. Come so on. here's the uh, <laughs> here's the bridge. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good. That's uh, a good sound for that. Yeah. <laughs> The, uh, the trumpet arm here, it's, yeah, uh, it, and it gets out of the way here. It's it's actually an extremely practical design, isn't it? You can hear it's hollow. Isn't um, it? Anyway, in, out. It's kind of a, it's got a little bit of a... Can we, can we roll some tone off and just hear like, you know, yeah. proper jack? Wow, there's a lot of tones in here. Yeah. Off. 
shuffling a bit about here now. That's very quacky in that position. I it's, almost prefer yeah, that. You know, there we go. You'll have to go do your research as to what is that. What are these knobs doing? Anyway, that's pretty. That's, that's 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 basically every bit, is it? What are these knobs doing? What are these two knobs doing? In yeah, this what are video? these? That's what people um, write in the comment section. Yeah, are these every two single Anderson's doing? video ever. Yeah. Um, anyway, look, what these so knobs that's doing. it. Do you want this to do some the, overdrive? Well, I suppose so. Should, I mean, it, should do it. I it's know. a little bit. Um, this would be a short video, Lee. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it can do overdrive. I mean, I don't know. One of the problems that you've got with completely hollow guitars as soon as you get into the territories of overdrive and, and it's volume shouting in that bucket, man. I'm telling is, you. Uh, is feedback. So here uh, I shall do some chords with uh, some distortion from a light speed pedal. So it's not a heavy pedal, but. <laughs> Pull the knob, see what happens. Yeah, that's true. More gain, more gain. Yeah. You know what it reminds you of these Brian Setzer guitars? Yeah, they're, they're going to be Brian Setzer-ish, aren't they? as they say in Hollywood, is a rap. Is it a rap? Uh, well, something It's like, like a that. turkey wrap uh, with cranberry sauce in it and all that. So how much are these, Pete? Oh, about 6 dollars 6 dollars there we go. Yeah. So in if the free you college. need a schwingster this Christmas <laughs> or in the new year, a new schwingster, then uh, you know where to come. Okay, thank you everyone for watching. Yep. Links below, please like and subscribe. Yeah. Happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. I'm gonna go swinging now. <laughs>